Hi, let's talk about some solution vocabulary as you move into this unit. Uh, so first word, solute. This is a substance that gets dissolved. So I want you to pretend that we have some water and I'm going to pour salt in it. What gets dissolved? It's the salt, the sodium chloride. So that's going to be the solute. Now the solvent, solvent, V-E-N-T, that's what does the dissolving. So I have my water, I pour my salt in. What does the dissolving? is the water. The water is the solvent. Now something important, water is the number one polar solvent. So if you want to dissolve something polar, water is a great go-to. Um, it's why we use water to clean so many things. Um, benzene, in contrast, is the number one nonpolar solvent. Um, so if you want to dissolve something nonpolar, benzene is a really good go-to. Uh, next, when you bring these two together, so I have my water, I pour my salt in, I dissolve it, that now makes what's called the solution. So the solution is just solute plus solvent. Now, embedded in this are a couple of more words. The idea of soluble, solubility. If something's soluble, it just means that it can dissolve in another substance. And this is really, really broad. It can be any phase. Let's put this down. This could be any phase. You could even have solids dissolve, be soluble. And other soluble and other solids kind of interesting so this is any phase can have solubility in insolubility so something that's insoluble is just the inability to dissolve in something else um, so an example of something that would be soluble um, actually we could use this example again is going to be sodium chloride and water you have that solid dissolving in the liquid. That would be soluble. Now something that would be insoluble, uh, let's say that we have water and sand. That sand is just going to sit on the bottom of the beaker, it won't dissolve. So the sand is insoluble. Uh, now being a little more specific, we have the word miscible. Miscible is the ability of a liquid to dissolve in another liquid. So miscible is when we're talking about liquids. Um, if I'm thinking about two liquids that could dissolve in one another, I could take um, isopropyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and water. That would be an example of a liquid that can dissolve in another liquid. So uh, isopropyl alcohol, or something as simple as orange juice and water. You can mix that, and um, and they would uh, the orange juice, that little bit of orange juice would disperse throughout the water, dissolve. Now, immiscible is the inability of a liquid to dissolve in another liquid. Really classic example, think about salad dressing, oil and water. So oil does not dissolve in water. That's a liquid that will not dissolve in water. So that would be an example of something that's immiscible, a liquid that won't dissolve in another liquid. Now this word aqueous, we use this a lot. Um, it is a shorthand that helps us um, just write equations quickly with an inherent understanding. Um, aqueous, we abbreviate it with an AQ in parentheses. We put it as a phase in chemical reactions. That is a substance that has been dissolved specifically in water. Um, so I might have two aqueous solutions. It means that I have two substances that have been dissolved in water, and I'm going to mix those substances together to form a reaction, probably a precipitate, maybe a gas. Um, usually a solid precipitate though. An example of how this would look, I could do a silver nitrate that I've dissolved in water. And so I just do that AQ in parentheses. And then we don't have to write uh, the term H2O in the chemical reaction. It's understood that that substance was dissolved in the water. So this gives you a really good foundation um, for solutions. Uh, to continue in this unit, look at the playlist for solutions and you'll get all the help that you need. Have a really good day. Enjoy chemistry. Thanks. Bye.